Warning. Serious injury can result from experimentation with HHO or Brown's gas. Children should not attempt anything shown on this channel without close adult supervision. Even some big kids. Please, play it safe. And I'm going back to my old standby, Goop Marine Adhesive, which is clear. I didn't want to use this product because uh, I believe that this is the source of some of the foaming that I had in my other cells. Unfortunately, in my driving around this afternoon, I could not find any of the uh, marine adhesive that I once bought from 3M that has the one hour cure time. So, I'm kind of SOL there. Um, the other thing is the marine adhesive had a nice little applicator nozzle with a, with a small opening that allowed me to put a nice small bead of, on my work. Goop Marine Adhesive tubes do not come with that applicator nozzle and the 3M applicator nozzle doesn't fit. So the degree of difficulty in applying the adhesive going around inside the opening of my inverted T-cell has just increased exponentially. <laughs> I'm actually going to have to trowel it in with this little, uh, this little trowel that I cut and ground on the grinding wheel so that I can hopefully create a nice even bead going around inside where the C-rings assemble. So I guess at this point we can cue the goofy music. That's a very good shot right there. When I slide the ring into place, that's also going to smooth a lot of that out and hopefully seal it right up. That's pretty well set up now. You can see I have the ring down flush with the edge of the pipe as it goes into the as in, into the T fitting. So the back of the ring is even with the back edge of this line right here. And the first plate will sit right about there. One of the advantages of using this adhesive is that it does set much quicker, which can also be a disadvantage if you're not quick enough. This is worth looking at to show you. You can see that the openings I cut in the C-ring, the little holes that I drilled where the gap, where the ends of the C-ring meet at the bottom for the electrolyte to flow in and at the top the hole that I drilled for the gas to flow out. Those holes align with the channels that run the full length of each side of the chamber. And the amount of glue 
that just got squeezed out when I assembled that C-ring was scraped from the side of the inside diameter of the three inch tube which was just leftover adhesive from when I applied it before I put the plate in there so it was just the right amount of glue for both sides. The object here is not to use so much glue that you're going to clog up the passage that you need for the gas to flow over the top and the electrolyte underneath. What I'm doing right now is I'm inserting the plates and I'm marking them with my Sharpie right where they are opposite the channel because that's where I want the flats to be ground on the edge of the plates. 